Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Night in the Day, episode 33, and today we have a pretty sweet item. It's called the Philosopher's Stone. Now, as you can see, it's 39th page, or at least on my GUI scale, it is 30 on 39th page, 10 down, and 1 across, or 2 if you would prefer to say 2, because it is the second one in the row. Uh, so yeah, the Philosopher's Stone, this is a pretty sweet item. I, I'm going to show you guys pretty much what you can do with it. And of course, as you can see, it needs a diamond, four glowstone dust, and four redstone. So I'm just going to grab all those really quick and make one. So of course, you can see the glowstone dust and the redstone go in an alternating pat pattern. If you go like this, and that was totally screwed up, that's not what I meant to do. But there you go. As you can see, you can do it either glowstone dust on the corners or the redstone on the corners it doesn't matter the diamond just has to be in the middle and the glowstone dust and the redstone has to be alternating around it so there's our philosopher's stone now here's some of the things that you can do with this thing it's pretty sweet first of all I'm going to show you guys the transmutation properties for example if you put a philosopher's stone in with one piece of coal it'll give you four pieces of charcoal and that uh, is an equivalent EMC value exchange so you could get four charcoal out of that, and for example, if I do that, and I put four charcoal in with the uh, Philosopher's Stone, it'll give me one coal, which is pretty sweet. Now if I put more coal, if I put four coal around the Philosopher's Stone, and of course this isn't, this isn't shaped, anything can be wherever it wants to be, wherever you want to put it, and it'll still make the same thing. That makes an alchemical coal. Now I'm just going to turn all of my uh, coal right here into alchemical coal, so I can show you guys what you can further do with that course you can turn it back into four coal or you can keep going put four use four more and this is just the shape that I like to do and uh, that makes a Mobius fuel now these things are pretty cool once I once I do that I got four now and I can put four around there and there you go that's an eternalis fuel or eternalis fuel I'm not really sure how the pronunciation on that is but of course you can see one stack of coal turned into one eternalis fuel now what you can do with this eternalis fuel is use it as a huge source of energy or you can uh, make dark matter use it to make red matter all kinds of stuff like that is it's awesome you can even make nova cataclysms with it. it's pretty sweet but uh moving on we can also change it back down we can convert it down back into the stack of 64 coal <coughs> sorry about that uh, some of the other things we can do with this is for example if we use iron if we put one iron it's not going to do anything because iron is the lowest on the list four is not going to do anything what you really need is eight eight iron makes one gold ingot now if we keep going further with this we uh, just spread the whole stack that makes eight gold ingots for a stack of iron now what we can do with this, these eight gold ingots is, of course, we can uh, turn it back down to iron ingots, or we can just put four in, and it gets us a diamond. Now if we put eight in, it doesn't do anything because gold ingots are 2,048 EMC, whereas diamonds are, as you can see, 8,192. Now this is the equivalent rate for it, so one stack of, uh, one stack of iron ingots, or even just half stack, will get you one diamond, and... A full stack of iron will get you two diamonds. Now, as you can see, I've been doing all this crafting with the Philosopher's Stone, and it hasn't been disappearing. And that is because this item itself, whenever you craft it, it doesn't get used up in the recipes, which is awesome. I love it. And uh, what we can do with the diamonds, of course, you can't really... I don't believe that there's much to do with them, but you can uh, use the... Philosopher's Stone and other recipes, such as making the Transmutation Tablet and the Interdiction Torches, which mine are actually gone now. I'm going to have to fix that, but that's I'll do that later. So let's just take a look through these uh, crafting recipes, and I've pretty much done all these. Yeah, I've already done all of these recipes, and as you can see, it's a shapeless crafting up here, and it's in a different way that I have been doing it, but I mean, you can do it whatever way you want, really. So that's all the... Uh, crafting stuff that you can do with it and of course you can make the shape crafting stuff which is those two items which is pretty cool but anyway moving on another thing that I really love about this thing is say you need to craft but you don't feel like carrying a crafting table around with you and plunking it down every time and breaking it or for example placing crafting tables everywhere if you get this thing you're just walking around walking around need to craft something okay I'm just gonna pull out my philosopher's stone I had it in my inventory I'm gonna pull it out and press the extra function key, which for me is, that's not it, 
one second. That's for uh, what I've been doing is for something else. Now, um, whoops. I can't actually remember, or maybe my uh, key is already is being used in something else. Let's see. Extra function is C. So if I press C, that's what I thought it was. Okay. I thought I had pressed it, but I guess not. But uh, anyway, if you press C, which or your, whatever your extra function key is, it will bring up a crafting table. This philosopher's stone can be used as a mini crafting table. And if you, whenever you're in use of it, you can uh, just throw it in the table still, and you can still use it while it's not in your inventory. It it won't turn back into a. Uh, it won't kick it out of your inventory just because you had uh, put it in the crafting table, which is pretty sweet. So whenever you need to use it on the go, you can. Now, some of the other cool things about this Philosopher's Stone is that it can actually turn place blocks into other stuff. So, for example, if I go like this, it'll turn grass into sand. If I do it again, it'll turn it back into grass. If I hold shift and click it, it'll turn into cobblestone, and then I can click it again, and it'll turn into smooth stone. And I can, of course, change that back into grass and sand, which is pretty sweet. So, for example, Say I just placed some uh, dirt down. Actually, I don't have any dirt. That's strange. Let me just grab some dirt really quick. Say I just placed some dirt down. And I wanted it to be grass because it looks hideous randomly in the middle of nowhere as dirt when it should be grass. Well, I can just turn it back and I can turn it into sand and turn it back into dirt and it will be grass again, which is pretty sweet. I love that. I actually use that quite a lot. Now, if you have this in your inventory, you can see that there's a little bar down there. Well, that is for the uh, the charge. That is, you can actually charge this item up and make it uh, transmute even more things. That's what this G key that I was pressing, transmuting in a line. For example, if I amp it up to the first charge, if I hit it, it'll transmute everything down through here. You'll see that it uh, transmuted some stuff down through there and I can turn it back and if I amp it up even more it would go a lot further but if I change it to let's say cube whenever I use it it's gonna go it's just gonna turn everything in this cube into its uh, alternative uh, exchanged whatever you want to call it really I'm not really sure what to call it but if you change it to panel and right click you'll notice if I dig down through here it only changes stuff in a one block area and that means I can just amp it up and it will turn all kinds of stuff into it but once I dig down it won't have messed with any of that stuff whereas if I was on the cube I'm just gonna dig down whoops I did not mean to do that let me just fix that there we go put it back to what it was and you'll see that it changes everything under it into the uh, into the alternative self. So if I dig, and of course it didn't, it only messed with the dirt because that's what I clicked it on. But yeah, so you can see that it really has an impact on what you use or what, what setting you use it on. I, I normally use it on panel because it's nice for covering up what I want it to, but not messing with anything else. So let me just turn it back to day really quick. Now, you guys might be wondering why I have these random things out here in the middle of nowhere. Well, that's because I wanted to show you that there are other things that you can transmute besides grass and dirt and just sand. All that stuff that I showed you guys already, there's more that you can do with that. For example, netherrack. You right-click it, it turns it into cobblestone. And, of course, you can't get the netherrack back, but it turns it into cobblestone. So, that's one thing you can do. Now, gravel, on the other hand, it's a little bit different. It turns into sandstone whenever you click it. And if you shift click it, it doesn't do anything else except gravel and sandstone. So it's pretty interesting, I'd say. It has like special properties, kind of. Melons are also unique in the sense that whenever you click it, it turns them into a pumpkin. And you can change it back between melons and pumpkins. That's all they will do. So oak wood is next up. It will turn into spruce wood. And then, or not spruce, it'll turn into pine wood and then into spruce and then back into oak. And as you can see, it'll do it with any wood type except jungle wood. If you use it on jungle wood, it'll turn it into oak and get it stuck in the never-ending cycle of oak, pine, and spruce. So if you really want your oak wood, don't use the transmutation on it. Now, it, it's not going to do anything to this because this is the, that flower's from a different mod. But some of the other things that you can do with it, for example, is you can right-click 
and it actually registered me as clicking that. That's one of the problems with clicking liquids. You can uh, click it, like you can click water for example, and it will turn it into ice, which is pretty sweet. For example, if you're trying to cross a river made of ice, you can just go like this and just place, uh, turn it into ice, and then, yeah, you pretty much beat the, uh, the ocean. You don't have to swim through it anymore. It's a lot faster. I like it. It's pretty sweet, and it also definitely comes in handy when you're facing, or when you're faced with lava, which I'm going to show you guys right now. For example, say you're just randomly down in a cave, and you come across a huge thing of of uh, just some lava and you really can't cross it because you would die of course if you don't have the sufficient armor you just right click it with the philosopher's stone BAM obsidian safe to walk across it is amazing and of course you can amp up the charge and just turn a whole area into uh, obsidian so I think that's pretty sweet it makes everything safer and now there's oil this one is it's a little bit weird whenever you whoops that is definitely not what I meant to do Whenever you click it, it turns it actually turns it into uh into ice, which is interesting. I mean, I guess there's not really much else for it to turn into, but I mean that's alright. And of course as you can see, it doesn't turn this stuff, the uh obsidian and ice back into its proper or its alternative selves because it it doesn't I don't know, it just doesn't turn it back into the liquid form. Now, the last thing that I wanted to show you guys, well, the last transmutation item, actually, I didn't show you it's a flower yet. Whenever you use it on a flower, a dandelion, it'll turn it into a rose and back and forth. And there's also, uh, you guys might have seen earlier, tall grass. It'll turn into a dead bush. Now, if I go down here, I have something down here also. All I have down here really is just a brown mushroom. It'll turn into a red mushroom. So if you ne ever need a different kind of mushroom, you can use this. And another very interesting thing is I have some coal right here. I'm going to use this as a fuel source. And let me just uh, find some animals. Yeah, I'm just going to spawn in a spawn egg. Let's see. Let's go with zombie. And let's go with something less harsh, like a cow. This sounds good. Now, what, th what these things will do is they'll... They've, um, the Philosopher's Stone, as you can see, if I pr if I right-click, it'll make these weird flying things. And what these do is actually turn mobs into other stuff. So, for example, if I make a zombie, I can turn it into a skeleton, or turn it into an enderman, or a spider, or back into a zombie. And it's it's just really random uh, on what what it changes to, really. So, as you can see, it's like just a random... It's a Guar or not necessarily guaranteed because you do have that random chance to get turned into the same it or that same uh, monster that it was. Now I'm not sure why he's not turning back from a cave spider. Maybe a cave spider doesn't get changed back. I don't know. But anyway, we're gonna. Oh geez, I have only have some four coal, so ah, uh, that might be a problem. Let me just grab some more. There we go. That might have been why he wasn't changing. Yep. And as you can see, skeleton, zombie. And they just keep changing. So I think this is a pretty sweet thing. For example, if you need a certain mob, you can do that. Or if you want to get rid of a creeper, because, for example, if I get a creeper, nobody likes creepers, really. At least, I've never heard of somebody who has. So a creeper, I can turn it into a zombie or something, or something less uh, destructive. But now, on the other case, with, uh, actually, you know what, let me, I want to turn him into a zombie. Or a slime, that's fine, whatever. Get out of here, man. Because slimes aren't as painful. Anyway, so if I spawn a cow, I can turn it into a mushroom. Now, this isn't the only thing it can turn into. It was just a random chance that that happened. And, of course, I can turn it into... Oh, God. No! Uh, well, you know what, whatever. He'll just burn. Get away from me, man. And, of course, like I can turn it into a wolf. And what... The thing is with the... Philosopher's Stone transmutating mobs. The they only turn into mobs of their faction. So uh, enemies will only turn into enemies, and passives will only turn into passives. So if I keep shooting this wolf, I'll show you guys what else it can turn into. A blue lamb. I think that's blue, actually, at least. 
So if I keep transmuting, I think the grass gets in the way a lot. I don't know. You can see chicken, cow, chicken, and yellow, yellow land. And now you can see I got a villager. And now I'm right clicking on this villager. I can't trade with him for some reason. I don't exactly know why, but I can't. So, but it's it's still a pretty sweet item where you can, uh, for example, if you just need, if you really need a certain mob or a certain animal, for example, say you need a mushroom, but you can never find a mushroom biome or don't want to don't feel like pulling one back to your base you can do that and just get a mushroom and then you can as you can see an ocelot you don't have to find a jungle or a wolf if you want a companion and you don't want to find a taiga you can just do that and I don't know I don't exactly know if there's a specific chance for each mob but uh, I think it's random as you can see mushroom so it's really nifty what you can do with this and yes I did just say nifty because you know what why not but uh yeah this philosopher stone that's pretty much all you can do with it but that is a lot of applications this is a really sweet item I would adv advise anybody who doesn't have one of these to get one of these as soon as possible it does still need fuel for some things but for other things it doesn't so it's definitely worth getting and the glass I forgot to show you guys you can I thought you could turn it into um it says on the wiki that you can turn it into sand, but you can't. So, that's why I didn't have it with me. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching this informational video about the Philosopher's Stone. I hope you guys maybe make one of these, have some fun with it, and enjoy. Have a nice day, guys. See ya.